Welcome to the tip channel. That is perfection. I don't know about you guys, but I am sick and tired of every couple months the computer coming up and say printer is low on ink and being price gouged 50 and 60 bucks for a new set of cartridges for it. It was time for a new printer, so I did a little bit of research on Amazon, and I came across a Canon Megatank. Now, what is a Megatank? A Megatank is one, instead of using those expensive cartridges, it uses ink inside of a large tank in the printer. One set of the Keller ink bottles will actually do 7,700 pages of print. One black bottle will do 6,000 prints. Now this printer actually comes with three black bottles. That means that you're going to be able to do 18,000 black prints. I may never have to buy ink again. So let's open this baby up and see what it actually does. In opening up the box, we find that there is a cord right on top. Some type of cartridge or what have you. A piece of styrofoam. The ink bottles are down in here. Wow. Pretty nice size bottles. Wow, look at the size of those blacks. Another cartridge. User manuals. And the printer. Okay, we've unboxed the printer we have sitting on the table now. Uh, and, excuse me, they do actually have a video online on how to set this printer up. But we're going to do it old school. We're going to follow it step by step, read the instructions, and, uh, and figure this out together. So, first of all, they're telling us to take all of the orange packing tape off of the printer, which I've done. Next up, they're telling us to open up the top, and we're going to find this little plastic piece about right in here and that's just for shipping so we're removing that yellow uh, orange piece and then the next step which is something that I wondered about now how can a printer do that many print jobs and the print head last the life of all of those prints and Ken's came up with a solution of that the print heads are actually interchangeable so um, the next thing we're going to do is you'll see a little blue tab down here at the bottom. You just simply lift up on that blue tab and that is where the print heads go. Now we can see even labeled on the printer is C and B. So C being for the color print head and B being for the black print head. So we have the B and C print heads right here. We'll take them out and it's telling us to remove that piece of tape, which is sort of like the old cartridges, if you will. So, so naturally, we'll do B on the right, and then we'll put the C in on the left. So now we have both print head cartridges installed into the printer, and next is telling us to push down on the cover until we hear it click. And then one more step is that each blue cap we need to press down until it clicks. The next step of the do this, now my wife will tell you I am the biggest slob. Uh, you may want to go ahead and put down a couple of paper towels as I have just to be on the safe side. And yeah, we don't want to listen to the wife complain about us making a mess. Okay, so we've opened up the top. Underneath of that is the cap for the bottle. And we open that up. And there's the location to put the bottle in. So we're going to take the cap off of the bottle. All right, so caps off the bottle. That's window, by the way. We're going to go ahead and align it with the center of that and tilt it up into the tank. So there we are. We're lined up. 
and you can see we're starting to fill up the chamber down below okay once you have the bottle inserted you just push down a little bit and it'll let the ink will start to flow into the tank now the convenient thing is is they've made this bottle exactly what is required to fill up the ink thing which I find very very convenient and the next step they say be a little careful you don't spill any ink and there we go I did it without spilling a drop okay the next step is to go ahead and fill the color bottles same procedures as with the black lift the caps and we'll get these filled Okay, the next step of the instructions tells us to go ahead and plug the unit into the wall. I think you guys can handle that. I've got that done, and now we need to load the paper. So we're going to pull out on the bottom paper tray, slide the inside units left and right, and slide this unit back. We'll go ahead and set the paper up. That looks correct. Towards the back, slide this clip up, and we are ready to go. Next in the instructions, they're telling us to go ahead and turn the unit on. And the very first screen they are saying, the first screen is going to ask us if we want to uh, use the English language. In our case, naturally, yes. So we're going to OK that. I don't understand why software has to ask you twice, but we're going to move the arrow over to yes and press OK. And it's asking us, do we want to start the alignment procedure? And we're going to say, OK. OK, we've got the printer all set up and uh, fired up. Next, we need to do a setup on our computer. Now, there's two different ways to handle this. Number one is to go into the Canon website. Uh, hit setup. You'll ask for your printer's model name. Uh, you click on it and then press go and then start. Um, I think that you can tell by now we're old school, so we're going to do it the old way. It uh, comes with an installation CD and we're going to go ahead and pop that into the computer. Okay, next step of the instructions is to set up your smartphone. And you scan this code, that's going to take you into the Canon website and you're going to download an app. Now, I think that, that would be very handy that I could actually take and just print off a picture from my phone straight to the printer, not have to move uh, pictures from my phone uh, to the computer before printing things out. So very useful, and I think I actually will do that a little later. Okay, the last part of the instruction shows us how to load the rear tray. This particular model of Canon has a bottom tray which holds 250 and I've showed you that one already. The top, the back one, you open up the top cover, there's another little piece that you flip this direction, slide the two blue pieces out, insert the photo paper uh, with the good side, with the good side up, adjust the blue tabs over to the paper and we're ready to print. Now let's see how this thing will do. It don't get no better than that. Okay, we have completed unboxing and setting up the Pixima G6020 Megatag. Sorry, I just like saying that. Megatag. The Megatag basically, in recapping, has the tanks on board. Basically, the uh, black and white will produce 6,000 copies on one bottle of ink. This printer comes with three bottles, so that's 18,000 black prints coming with the printer. The color tanks will produce 770. Now, here's the best part. That's 30 times what you'll get out of those little cartridges that you pay 50, 60 bucks for. So if you look on Amazon, you'll find replacement bottles of ink and you can get the ink non-brand for under 20 bucks. That's going 30 times what the old cartridges used to do. Uh, 
if you go to the name brand Canon inks, you're about 30 bucks. But again, just amazing. The other thing is the print head, which concerned me. I mean, printing out that many pages, how could a print head survive? The print heads are changeable. That's amazing. Now, in regards to sizes of paper, this will actually take about 10 different sizes. Clear up to 8.5 by 14, which I do like that. Now, the only bad thing is you can print out on 8.5 14, but keeping in mind that the scanner for copying is only 8.5 by 11.5, so you are a little limited in regards to the 8.5 by 14 on making copies. Now, print resolution of this printer will go up to 4800 by 1200. Wow. Setup of the printer took us all about 15 minutes. Now, I know you young ones are saying, well, that's pretty much the end of today. But let me tell you about the old days. In the old days, we would have been running cables across the room to different computers. We would have been downloading uh, drivers from the internet, hoping that they were the correct drivers. We have conflicts with other devices in our computer system. And this is basically plug and play. You plug it in, it connects to your wireless internet in your home, and you can print to it from anywhere. Any computer, any, any smartphone, any tablet. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So, in, uh, in retrospect, the Pixima 6020, how do we find it? That is perfection. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe.